What's up everybody? Um, it's been a minute and I'm sorry for that. I feel like every time I come on here, I'm saying like I haven't done a video in two months and it's true. I'm really bad at putting out videos. So I'm gonna try and fix that because of the current situation right now. Just because everyone has to stay inside. I'm gonna try and put up quite a few videos. Um, I'm pretty stoked to be back here. Uh, please comment down like content you want me to cover because the situation we're in right now is just not rad. So <laughs> hopefully we can all figure it out. Everyone stay safe, stay inside, and I'm gonna try and put out some videos for you guys. So uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So I got quite a few of my gloves here. Um, I don't have my whole collection, but as you guys can see, I have like a lot of the, the really nice pieces and basically this is my YouTube setup right now. <laughs> I'm editing off the ground. This room's not really put together as you can see, stuff isn't hung. This is basically what I got right now. I'm just gonna be hunkered down here for a couple of weeks, depending on how long this stuff lasts, but I'll go through some of the new gloves that I picked up. I don't really have a lot of new ones, but I have a few that you guys will like. This is the nicest new pickup I have. Um, it's beautiful Alabama college issue catcher's mitts, pro preferred wheels on the bus. The text, I mean that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty funny. But this glove is just rad, man. I love it so much. Um, broken in really well. It has a deep pocket. I'll show you guys the pocket later. But I just think the way that logo is just printed is just massive, and I think it pops so much. The crimson on the black. I'm not usually a fan of the gold on like. Uh, at the outside of the glove and like the binding and everything, but it works here. I think it works here I obviously wouldn't game a glove like this, but it's a good piece just to have on your shelf Here's another pickup. I haven't really talked about in like any of my other videos, but it's one of the vapor 360s which are Controversial gloves not gonna lie because they're not all leather feels very light feels very weird But I actually had it relaced to an H web just to make it look like uh, Carlos Gonzalez's glove from back in the day, but I like the feel of this, you know, obviously the non-leather feels a little weird, but, you know, Charlie Rose uh, did a fantastic job. Evan over there did a great job at relacing this. Huge shout out to him. Thank you for doing this for me, but um, it's interesting. I'll try and break it in pretty quick and give you guys an update in maybe one of the upcoming videos. We're going to go play some catch right now to keep the arm active. It's really hard staying in shape like during this lockdown. So the gloves we're gonna be playing catch with today. Obviously the Showtime, one of my favorites. Absolutely love that. Got the TT2 stock with the gold label. I'm gonna try out the Alabama. Not gonna throw much with it just so I don't use it up, but I wanna just feel what it feels like. And then um, got my Coachella gloves, 204, half camo, and then got my ASU PP05. Not gonna lie, probably shouldn't have worn the sweatshirt. One big thing that people always ask me about is the differences between a TT2 or like an NP model versus a 204 or like a wide model like this. And there's big differences because I, the TT2 is my favorite model and that's just the way it's always been. But it's not my favorite way gloves close because it closes more 
a thumb, thumb to ring or thumb to middle, and that's just how the ball sits in there. And if you look over at 204s and a lot of the 200 models, it closes pinky to thumb like an outfield glove. It creates a huge pocket, which I like personally in the infield, but those are two really big differences. You'll see this type of close, like I said, on NPs, like the Reyes, the Tulo, all of those. They close like, um, like really shallow, and it has a perk just because like when you're in the infield, if there's like a diving play to your right or left anyway, you'll know exactly where the ball is because the pocket's so small, it just, it's always gonna be right there. So you can reach in for a quick, just turn around. But I gamed gloves like this, and one problem with these is, I like these more, but one problem is if you dive, it's such a big pocket, sometimes you'll reach in and you won't know where the ball is. So your grip's not always gonna be perfect coming out. But you know, it's just small things like that. Like I use a DW5 short and it closed like this. And that's just my personal opinion, but if I had to go back and play now, I'd probably be using one of these at short, just for the small pocket, so I can know exactly where the ball is every time I dive. And same thing goes for the PP05 and the Wilson models. It looks like a wide glove, h web you'd expect it to be deep, but it actually closes like that. And every PP05 I've owned, it's the exact same way. So, if you're looking for a shallow glove with an h web that's 11 and a half, PP05 is the way to go in Wilson. And for Rawlings, I'd just go either, I would go NP, but I would probably go TT2 over NP. Oh. Wow. I'm so bored, if you can't tell. Alright, that's gonna wrap up this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down which video you wanna see next. If you have any ideas, please shoot them my way. But um, stay safe, stay inside guys, and um, hopefully this, uh, this all passes pretty quick. So I'll see you guys in the next video.